What's up, everyone? Happy Friday. Coming to you live from Halls Pond here, West Hempstead, New York, on Long Island. And uh, i got to get you a message of the day. So uh, this is day uh, 347 of the ride of uh, 365 days of riding 10 plus miles on my bike. And uh, the We Ride at Dawn 365 Journey, 365 Live. And um, i got to get you a message of the day. So down here over at Hall's Pond, it's a nice night here on the island. It's uh, about 60 degrees, not too windy. The weather's finally breaking over here. And uh, today I got to uh, meet up with my buddy Eric in from Texas um, who uh, does solar. Uh, he has a company that does solar energy, uh, residential and commercial. He also has another company that does, um, uh, it's a call center. Um, and it's a guy that literally uh, came here across the desert. Um, he's been here, I think he said 13 years now. Uh, made a journey here from El Salvador for a better life. And he told me the journey of how he got here. And it's really, really unbelievable. Um, crossing rivers, running through the desert, running for hours at a time under barb barbed wire fences, cactuses. Um, so much, so much uh, struggle to get to the land of opportunity. And now um, he's a citizen and has thriving businesses. It really makes you think about those of us that were born here in America and have all this opportunity and don't do anything with it. Um, there's so much opportunity here. There's so much different ways to, to make money and, and, and make a difference and to invent stuff and to grow companies. And a lot of us are asleep at the wheel. Someone from another country is willing to run through the desert, cross rivers, uh, barbed wire fences, run through cactuses. I mean, like crazy, crazy, crazy to get to the land of opportunity. And we are in the land of opportunity. Um, so Eric's built this business up of uh, solar energy. And we decided today that uh, we need to partner up. Um, so I'm gonna start offering solar energy to my clients through Eric's company. And I think it's just an added value that um, I can give to my real estate clients and to my friends and my network, uh, my air conditioning clients. Um, as the economy, gets a little rough as get fuel prices go through the roof. Uh, electric prices are gonna continue to rise. Um, usually uh, electric created by fuel, obviously, and as fuel costs go up, electric costs are gonna go up. And I was trying to think of how I can pivot in this market as mortgage rates go up. It's gonna make uh, home affordability a little bit uh, less for some people. It's gonna slow down the real estate market. And the fuel costs are, and just the inflationary costs are hurting a lot of people in their pocket. So I was trying to think about what I could do that would help put money back in people's pockets. And God provides, so uh, I think Eric's probably one of the first people I met when I went to Apex, probably a couple months in one of my earlier events. We met down in Texas. And it turns out he's originally from New York. Um, before he went to Texas, he lived here on Long Island. And his solar business actually started here on Long Island. And then he took it to Texas and left kind of a void here on Long Island. So I'm gonna try and fill that void and try and help people here uh, with my real estate team. It's another added service that uh, we're gonna provide. And because the land of opportunity, we got an opportunity to help people save money, opportunity to help save the environment, opportunity to help us rely less on fossil fuels. Uh, energy independence is super important for our country and all of that comes through solar. So it just seems like a natural natural thing that uh, I should be doing to get into it at this point. Um, it's in its infancy. A small, small percentage of people have solar on their houses and on their businesses. Um, it's a killer investment if you think about it. Be energy independent and uh, be able to control your electric bill for the next, say, 25 years or better. Um, when everything's going up, at least the electric bill will be, you know, you won't be there anymore. So it'll either be, uh, you won't have a bill, 
or you'll have a reduced bill based on uh, your finance charges. It's all different ways to do it. There's leasing, there's purchase, and uh, Eric's educating me on that. I knew a lot about it already, and uh, we're gonna help some people out here put some more money back in their pocket in this time when it seems like money's flying out of our pockets like it's uh, got wings. So, land of opportunity. Are you taking advantage of all the opportunities around you? Um, there's so much opportunity out there in this world. And are you asleep at the wheel? Think about it. As people show up in your lives and are there to help you, do you accept the help? Do you engage? Do you follow through? And uh, do you take advantage of the opportunity that is provided to you? Think about it. So anyway, there's your message of the day. People come through the desert, through rivers, all kinds of craziness to get to the land of opportunity. We are here in the land of opportunity. What are you doing with the opportunity? All right, let's jump on prayers over here. Pretty night, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, much women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, thank you for all the opportunities you provide in our lives. Help us to be aware of the opportunity and help to follow through on opportunity. Uh, thank you for the many blessings and the many people that you put in my life that are here to help me and help me to help those that come into my life to make everyone's lives better. Amen. All right, everyone. Happy Friday. We finally got some decent weather here on Long Island. We got a busy weekend of baseball. We had baseball practice today. We got a game tomorrow. We got a game Sunday with Joey. Um, he's, uh, he's excelling. They got him pitching. He's hitting. We've invested in some coaching for him. And it's paying off. Uh, it's awesome to see him pitch and get strikeouts. It's awesome to see him get hits. It's uh, really cool to see his confidence grow. But uh, the land of opportunity. Think about all those opportunities in your life. And think about if you're sleeping on them or if you're taking them. Take advantage of the opportunity while it's there. All right. All right, everyone, have a great night. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.